Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Another short reminder, bi idnillahi tabaraka wa ta'ala, regarding the recommended times of dua. And I think what you need to know here is that the recommended times of dua or recommended things that can, can, can cause your dua to be accepted, these can be divided into two sort of large groups. Situations where your dua is accepted and times where your dua is accepted. So I'm going to very briefly mention them one after the other as much as possible. Situations and then times where your dua is accepted. As for situations where your dua has been accepted, the person who has been wronged or oppressed, the person who finds themselves in severe difficulty, after a calamity has struck a person, the one who is traveling, the one who is fasting, the one who is reciting the Quran or has just recited the Quran, the one who is performing Hajj or Umrah or Jihad fi sabilillah, the one who is making dua for someone in their absence, because we know that when you make dua for a brother in your absence or in his absence, because we know that when you make dua for a brother in his absence, an angel says, Ameen, unto you. The one who is in a state of remembering Allah Azza wa Jal constantly and the just ruler. These are some of the situations that the ulama mentioned. If you find yourself to be in this situation, this is a situation where your dua will be accepted. As for times of the day or the week or the month or the year when your dua is accepted, then the last third of the night. So divide the night between Maghrib and Fajr. Divide it into three pieces, the last third of the night. When the Adhan is called, so between the Adhan and the Iqama. After the Adhan and then between the Adhan and the Iqama. During the prayer. The closest that a slave is to his Lord is when he is in a state of prostration. While prostrating, and before the end of the prayer, after you have finished the tashahud, and after the prayer, once you have finished your adhkar, your dhikr that you make after the prayer. An hour on Friday, or a period of time on Friday, and the scholars disagreed over when this is. Some of them said that it is when the Imam sits down between the two khutbas. And some of them said that it is at the last period of time before Maghrib. And they have other opinions, but frequently making dua on Friday, particularly when the Imam sits down between the two khutbahs and after the khutbah, and then frequently making it and just before Maghrib on a Friday, these are times when the scholars mentioned that your dua is accepted. When waking up at night, after performing wudu, before drinking zamzam, because zamzam is whatever it is drunk for, during the month of Ramadan, dua on Laylatul Qadr, on the night of the decree, dua while visiting the sick, dua when the rain falls, and dua at the crowing of the rooster. All of these are times that are mentioned within the Sunnah and situations that are mentioned within the Sunnah of the Prophet wasallam, in which your dua is accepted. So it's up for us to learn them and to put them into practice and to become people who frequently make dua at all times and in all places. Because for example, if we look at the Friday, if you're frequently making dua on that Friday all the way through, inshallah, you're gonna hit that hour in which your dua is accepted. And so this is about us frequently making dua and about us learning the situations in which our dua is accepted. Wallahu alam. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.